All right, boys and girls, I'm back. It's been a while. Been working long hours for the last month or so, month and a half, getting back into the aquarium project. And this time I'm going to go over what I've done inside and just outside the overflow box. Uh, the plumbing underneath the stand will do at some other time. Um, at this point, all I'm doing, I've got a couple of one-inch eductors with one-inch bulkheads. And I've got those on both sides. And because the uh, trapezoid overflow box shape, I couldn't get both lines in the way I wanted to. So, of course, like any other uh, hobby, you have to customize. So what I've done is on this left hand side, I've got a 90 degree elbow, which I had to put in before I uh, installed the bulkhead into the uh, side of the overflow box because I can't turn it, the tank is too close to the edge. I was going to cut the fitting, but that wasn't going to work. The other side I went straight through. So the hoses cross as you can see probably here, hopefully, I've got a flashlight, I'm kind of shining down in there, cross here, and they actually come from the opposite side. So down there at the base where I've put a lot of black silicone, when I put bulkheads in, I've got two one inch return bulkheads and one two inch uh, sump supply bulkhead. Um, the the uh, rubber gaskets that come on the bulkheads I throw in the trash can because they tend to rot. Now I did actually use it on this one here coming through the wall but that's an inch or an inch and a half below the water line. I'm not worried about it if I have to replace it. I am worried about that one down there so I take the rubbers out throw them in the trash can and I turn around and I silicone the heck out of them top and bottom and then I screw them together. I could take some video from underneath, but I'll do that when I actually plumb the aquarium. Uh, I have built a Durso standpipe myself out of two inch pipe here. I just drilled an eighth inch hole. I'm sure it's gonna be too small. I'm gonna be flowing, I don't know, 14, 13 to 1500 gallons through the system uh, with the ecosystem. In fact, I bought a filter, I bought lighting, I bought all kinds of things. In the meantime, I even have some rock work here uh, but anyway, I've got the Durso standpipe you can see in the bottom there and then it runs up and then I've got the small tip here on the top. And in fact, I can take the cap off and you can see um, I've got the entire standpipe built, glued, it's all there. I use a street 90 here into a T, a short piece on the top and then the piece required to uh, make sure the length is required to make sure that this cap is below the surface. I'm going to have a cover on this obviously so I can keep down the very last of it. My little 60 gallon aquarium over here is a little noisy right now but that's the way it goes. Um, this side comes straight, comes up and then hooks into this corner so the right feeds the left and then I've got the left feeding the right. I haven't adjusted these yet. I'm probably going to have them point more down and into the corner or up and into the corner to uh, get the, the lighting to shimmer better. But uh, I'll be working on that later. So I guess the next installment will be what I'm doing for rock work. Good luck. <laughs> 